Okay, so this is going to be uh, an example of one of the word problem uh, systems of equations problems we did in class. Uh, we didn't do this one in class, it's from the homework, uh, but I'm going to go over it and you can use it on the homework if you want or you can check your work with it. So we're going to do number three here. Um, and first thing we're going to do is we're just going to read the whole problem. So Castell and Gabriel are selling pies for a school fundraiser. Customers can buy apple pies and lemon meringue pies. Castell sold six apple pies and four lemon meringue pies for a total of $80. Gabriella sold six apple pies and five lemon meringue pies for a total of $94. What is the cost each of one apple pie and one lemon meringue pie? Okay, so we're going to write two systems of equations. One of the equations is going to be Castell's information, and the other equation is going to be Gabriella's information, in this case. Uh, and we're going to use variables for apple pie and for lemon meringue pie. So probably shouldn't use P because that's in both things, but we'll probably use A for apple and not L for lemon because it's going to look like a one, but M for that. So on my piece of paper here. So we're doing uh, A for apple. So this is the cost of apple and M for the cost of the lemon. So those are our two variables, and we're going to do Castell's equation first. So his was six apple pies, so 6a. This is going to be six times a, which is the cost. A is the cost of the apple pie. So six times the cost is going to give us the um, total cost for all the apple pies he sold. And we're going to add that to 4 times the lemon meringue pies. So 4m times the cost of the, the meringue pies. So this will give us the total cost of the meringue pies, total cost of the apple pies. We add those things together, and that totals to how much money he made, which was $80. Okay, so that's our first equation. Okay, then our second equation is Gabriella's. And this is going to be the same number of apple pies and five meringue pies. So we should hope that she made more money. And she did. She made $94. Now, in this case, we have it pretty simple because she just sold one more thing. So we could pretty quickly figure out um, how much the meringue pies cost which is what we're going to do, but we're going to use elimination. So I'm going to run this down here and just rewrite it uh, using a different color. I think I need to move this out of, over here so my face isn't in the way. Sorry. So 6a plus 4m equals 80. So I'm just rewriting it. And the reason I haven't multiplied by anything is because the a's already have a matching coefficient, right? They both have a six. So I'm just gonna subtract everything straight down to remove the variables. So six a minus six a gives us zero a's. Five minus four gives us one m. And 80, uh, 94 minus 80 is gonna be 14. So that means the rain cost $14. So we can take that and substitute it back into either of the equations to figure out what the cost of the apple pies are. All right, so uh, since it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to pick this equation. We're going to substitute. So 6a plus 4 times 14 equals 80. Okay, replace the M with the value that we found. And so we get 6A plus, uh, this is going to be 56. So 4 times the 1 gives us 4. 4 times the 4 gives us 16. So 56 equals 80. Subtract 56. And we're left with 6A equals 
Uh, 80 minus 56 is going to be 24. So that means that A is $4. And we're done. Now we would like this to be written in terms of uh, dollars, right? So uh, M is $14 and A is $4. The cost of the apple pie is $4. The cost of the lemon meringue pie is $14. Okay, and we've solved the system.